<laughs> what is going on everybody? It's Dasha J here back up in it with another upload. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys are tuning in for the first time, thank you for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time I drop a video. If you guys are coming back here and you are returning subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Go down and drop a comment down below and I'll try and get back to that as soon as possible. So, this is DoorDash Dailies. Today we are going to be talking about Da -da 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 -da, drum roll please what you should be doing in your day to try and reach a hundred dollar goal so as for me I have a minimum of a hundred dollars that I try to make every day hundred dollar goal some people have different goals some people have uh, more some people have less just depends on your area I was watching a video the other day and it said five things you should do to reach a hundred dollars your hundred dollar goal and they were talking about how you have to have this many number orders in this match and you have to do that. The way I broke it down is, think about it. If you want to reach $100 in a day, you don't want to have to work more. So here, put let's put it like this. So you want to reach $100 in a day. If you make $10 an hour, that's 10 hours you have to work to make that $100. Well, I'm not working 10 hours a day to make $10 an hour. So that means you would have to take a, a order each hour that is, you would have to take orders to make $10 each hour. Well, the way I accept orders, not, I'm not accepting anything less than $6, $6.50. And if you can get two of those orders within an hour's periods of time, that is $12 an hour. That's what you want to be doing. The way I broke it down, I work eight hour days, I make $100 a day. Now you can either do, you could cherry pick and you could try to get as close to $10 on each order as possible, or you could do multiple orders in an hour which equals more than $10 in an hour. So I make $100 in a day working eight hour shifts. So that means I make way more than $10 an hour. Um, I'm not a cherry picker, but over time I have seen that I will choose certain orders and I will not choose certain orders. I guess that's a form of cherry picking, but I'm not just going for the highest paid orders. I will take any order that DoorDash does send to me if it is within my guidelines. Over $6, a dollar a mile, and it's under 10 miles away. I will not travel any further than 10 miles. Um, so if you're trying to reach your $100 goal, you need to make sure you weed out the least paying dashes that they send to you and try and take the better paying dashes. Um, if you're going to reach a hundred dollar goal in a day, you have to work the peak hours. You have to work peak breakfast, peak lunch, and peak dinner. If you do not work those hours, you will not reach your hundred dollar goal. I can guarantee you that unless you live in the city and the city is a little different. Uh, most people that I'm talking to probably live in the suburbs. Most people watching my videos probably live in the suburbs. All I am giving you is tips from my experience. I am not giving you tips and tricks that I think will work. I am telling you about my experience and what has happened to me and what I have learned. So, I usually accept orders that are $6. If I can do the order within a half an hour time and, and it's peak breakfast, I'll get another order coming in which is going to be either $6 or more in my acceptance. If it's anything lower than that, I will not accept it. Just go on to the next one. Um... Because in peak times, there's always going to be orders coming in. Not Even if you're not necessarily next to a hot spot, you will have orders coming in. It's peak time. You're going to be a dasher that is looked at as, in your area, the best dasher for that dash. Um, so you don't necessarily have to be next to a hot spot. I usually work about eight hours a day. I try to do three hours lunch, three hours or four hours dinner, two hours breakfast, kind of kind of switch it up. Um, but I make sure I make sure to get on the schedule for those peak hours 
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I work full-time. If you do not work full-time for DoorDash, do not plan on making $100 in a day. Because it's not like you can go on and weed out the orders until you get an order that's $15. It's just not going to happen like that. If you're multi-apping, you might have a better chance at making $100 a day. Um, working for Grubhub, Postmates, Uber Eats, DoorDash, all at the same time, you should never have any downtime. If it's not busy on DoorDash, you should be busy, be busy on one of the other three. Um, a $100 goal is what I have built up to. I started out when I first started door dashing. I wanted to make, I wanted to reach fifty dollar goal. I got that. Next, I wanted to reach a seventy five dollar goal. I got that. Next, I wanted to reach a hundred dollar goal, and that's what I've been doing. A um, hundred dollar goal isn't too hard to reach if you work your full day and you're making more than ten dollars an hour, which is amazing. I see all these people complaining about, oh, I don't want to have to take orders or place orders. That's going to be for another video. But usually the orders that you have to place with your red card and take the order pay you more money because you have to take up more time. But if you do it right, it's not going to take up too much time to where it's not going to be worth it. This is the job you chose. This is the circumstances that you decided to undertake. So you should not be complaining about the things you have to do because compared to the other jobs that you would have had, you're enjoying life. You're getting to do what you want to do. You're getting to do it on your own time. If you don't want to have to deal with these things, don't sign in to become a DoorDasher. Then you need to go find another job that you'll like doing. Only reason why I DoorDash is because this is what I like doing. I like having time to myself. I like choosing mine out, my own hours. I like being an entrepreneur. I like being my own businessman. I get to choose how much money I make or do not make. Um, you will not be reaching your $100 goal the first week you work. Maybe you will. Um, I did. But as a, a beginning DoorDasher, you got a lot of things to learn and a lot of strategies to pick up in your area. Not everyone's going to be able to DoorDash the same. Every area is different. Every area has different orders coming in, whether you're in the suburbs, whether you're in the city, what kind of traffic you have to deal with, what kind of car you have. Um, me, I have a 2014 Nissan Versa, great on gas mileage, could be a little bit better, but this car is holding up great for getting around town and working in my area. I just had the brakes fixed, I just had the bearings fixed, but that's going to be for another video. As for right now, we are talking $100 goal. So, if you are wanting to reach your $100 goal, you can either work a 10-hour day, or you can do like me, work an 8-hour day, weed out some of the other smaller orders, and work eight hours in a day, still reach your hundred dollar goal, maybe a little bit more. You're not always going to be able to reach your hundred dollar goal every day. Like I said, some days are busier than others, others, but if you do log in at peak times and you're able to get on the schedule for peak times, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you should get very close to your hundred dollar goal. So Things you need to remember, make sure you get in to schedule your shift to get on those peak hours. Make sure you weed out and have a set limit of orders you're going to take. Um, and make sure you calculate it to where you make it possible to reach your $100 goal. If you just go ahead and say a $3 order pops up, okay, you're going to take that one. It's only two miles. Well, in that two, three miles that you're driving, you could have had an $8 order come in. And you're wasting time. You don't need to be wasting your time with those orders. Now, if you're a door, drive, door dasher that will take anything that comes in because you're the best dasher for that that dash, I understand. You're trying to work with DoorDash. You don't want to make it more complicated for them. $3 order comes in. Okay, take it. Because you're the best dasher for that dash. That's why they chose you to take that order. And in the long run, it might work out better because you could take that $3 order. The only reason why it's $3 is because DoorDash made, made it a $3 base pay for that order and the customer didn't leave a tip on their card. So you could take that $3 order and go to the house and get a cash tip. Cash tips are way better because then you have money in your pocket then. Um, one thing that I figured out, um, which is going to be another video, when I first started DoorDashing, I didn't have any money in my pocket. 
And I figured, how am I supposed to get gas to go to these locations if I can't fast pay and I can't get money right now? So money in your pocket is a huge thing. You need to always have gas in your car. You never know when you're going to need to buy something to drink. You're in your car all day. And if you figure on a normal basis, you're only driving your car two to three hours a day normally. Here you're in your car for eight hours or more. So you got to make sure you have that cash in your pocket. Um, if you want to reach your hundred dollar goal, try and follow those tips. Um, uh, drop a comment down below. If you understood what I said, if it helps you out, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, today's a short one guys. Um, I'm trying to get this money out here. So I'm parked here on the party lot enjoying a cigarette, dropped this video to you guys. I wanted to make sure I got it in. I'm Dasher J. Keep getting that money. Keep dashing. Multi-app community. We come together. I'm out. Peace.